serves me right. You know how long it's been since I've seen an American girl? Wonderful creatures, aren't they? May I have your names, please? I saw her first. Thank you very much. We'll be boarding the plane in just a few minutes. May I have your names, please? <laughs> I can't seem to think. Uh, what does a guy call a beautiful girl like you? I'm Miss Burns. Oh, hi, Peggy. Oh, I'm Rocky Wilson. Uh, this is my buddy, Archie McGregor. A pleasure, I'm sure. Where are you boys bound? Tokyo for a few days and then back to the States. May I get you anything? Well, what have you got? I should think that's fairly obvious. Well, to give you something to look forward to, we serve cocktails in all overseas flights. Oh, twist my arm. Just water for me, thank you. Water? Uh, he's vitamin happy. It's time for his pill. Now, there's no substitute for good health, my boy. This just came in, Peggy. Thank you. As I was about to say, it's a question of maintaining the proper balance in bodily resources. All of us suffer ailments and indispositions resulting from nutritious deficiencies, but vitamins help to overcome these inadequacies. I'm convinced water it'll be. Could I buy you a drink in Tokyo? Oh, I'm sorry. I never make dates on flights. Well, you won't always be up in the air. Where do you stay when we land? At the Northwest Airlines staff house. I'll call you there tomorrow. Thanks, but I'm afraid I'll be awfully busy. Anyway, you'll find lots to do in Tokyo.
happens every time. Yeah. Why is it all the good joints are always off limits? Same old story. What are you gonna do? I've got an idea. Maybe we can get rid of these uniforms. Hey, Mac. Where's the black mark? What got him in? He doesn't speak English. Now look, Mac, we're not MPs. We want some clothes, civilian clothes. Oh, masquerade, eh? Well, in that case, I'd recommend Heroes Haberdashery. Excellent merchandise and most reasonable prices. Heroes Haberdashery. That's odd. There used to be a store in Kansas City. I know. Our password is moving to a new location in November 52. Take it easy, Mac. I'm a Democrat. Then you should feel right at home. Step in. I'll take you there. Yes, I see. I'll just go about my business till I hear from you. What was that name again? Nakana. All right, Cousin Henry. Goodbye. Hey, you. What do you got here? This is for Nakano. Deep freezer. Gift from a friend. Uh, you take her on the back, huh? Can't you see I'm busy? <sighs> My work is finished. Five years well spent, Professor. Who could guess this little bottle will change the history of the world? Don't drop it, my friend. Or it will merely change our history. Such a slight impact will cause the pills to explode? And make the atom bomb feel by the breath of wind in a howling storm. Incredible. My demonstration today will prove it. And make every headline I trust. One pill will be smuggled into ten key cities. Tomorrow night, they will be wiped off the face of the earth. Then all men will accept the guidance of the true people's party. You will need one of these pills for your demonstration. I have kept one aside. Only one? Only one. Splendid. Take these to the rendezvous. do for you, gentlemen? You better watch your inflection, kiddo. We want to trade these in. We don't carry uniforms. Neither do we when we can help it. Drafted, you know. We can't deal with soldiers. The MPs can, and those bloodhounds really cramp a guy's style. So? We're going to throw them off the scent. Now, just a minute. Now, wait a minute, bud. We've been a year in a Korea. Don't mess with us. We're not responsible. Foxhole phobia, as you know. Uh -huh. Now, this is for me. Well, to each his own, but personally, I prefer something a little more conservative. Nice shirt, tie. Not that one, not that one. No style, no taste. Nonsense. It's an excellent taste. Nice shirt, tie. You idiot! Pick up! Please! Empty. Phony passes. Another one of Hero's services. 
Wonder if it's good for an RFC loan. Pass your identification, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what are you fellas looking for? Well, we think this is a black market joint. Oh, black market joint? Horrors, Archie. Let's get out of here. I'm ready, my boy. Uh, carry on, Sergeant. Do your duty. We will, sir. You know, uh, I used to be in uniform not so long ago, as a matter of fact. Come on, Archie. And it's quite a novelty to have a sergeant call me sir. Thank you, Sergeant. My thrill for the day. What are you trying to do? Get it thrown in a clink? I'm sorry, Rocky. I tried to fight it, but it was bigger than I. Please, come here. She'll start me soon. Come on. Hey, Sergeant. Why, those characters. Sell the soldiers, huh? Take them away. I thought this place smelled fishy. What about the two GIs? I will catch them. Come on, let's go. Bamboo Club. All right. Here's what I want you to do. I was the hard. Well, as long as you know your way around, maybe it would be easier if you met me here. Fine, Rocky. I'll be there in a few minutes. Okay, Peggy. You're waiting for me. Well, what do you know? I got me a date. Fine.
Pretty nice, huh? Terrific. Uh, bartender, give me another beer, will you please? Yeah. Whiskey. You'll never catch him now. He has too much head start. Did he take anything, Archie? Well, I don't know what he could take. I haven't anything in my... Well, what is it? Well, it's just one of my bottles of pills. Funny. I don't remember putting them there, though. But then, well, I take them so often. Are you okay? I'm ashamed. You Americans have done so much for my countrymen. And this is how we repay you. But perhaps I can make amends. Permit me to introduce myself. My name is Titzel. Nakano. Very pleased to meet you. How do you do? Would you all be good as to accept the hospitality of my home? Well, uh, that's very nice of you, but, uh, well, we already had planned. No, we haven't. Uh, well, uh, well, you see, my home is a rare attraction. It doubles as a school for geisha girls. Well, that's very nice. Geisha girl? A school, you say? What do you teach them? Many things. Imagine that. I'm trying to. I'm afraid to. Come and see for yourselves. I'm all for it. Sounds quite unusual. Splendid. Rest assured, you're in for something most unusual. that this place is off limits. We wouldn't want to get you in trouble on our account. That's very considerate of you. Please exchange your shoes for slippers. <laughs> They'll help you. While you're here, the only concern would be your comfort and pleasure. Well, that's what I call service. Uh, aren't they pretty, Peggy? They certainly are. Look at this one. Does a geisha girl ever go out on a date? If you like her, she will serve you at dinner. Her name is Michiko. Michiko, eh? Come. I will explain about the girls and show you what they learned here. You see, Americans have the wrong impression of geisha girls. The true geisha studies for many years, learning Japanese art and universal knowledge. She's then without equal as a hostess, entertainer and conversationalist. These girls are practicing floral arrangements, which should be artistic and yet reflect the woman's personality. Those girls are mastering the formal style of Japanese writing. Continue, please. Wake up, yo. It's six o'clock, yeah. That, of course, is a class in English. English? Brooklynese, yeah. We never know whom we may have to entertain. Anyway, we're betting that English would be the dominant tongue of the future. However... Yes! 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 What language is that? Russian. In case we're wrong. We always bathe before dinner. It's an old Japanese custom. You'll find it very different and also very stimulating. I know I shall enjoy it. One of the maids is bringing you soap and a towel. Get inside. Well, thank you very much, my dear. But thank you again. That will be all. Okay. Now, just a minute. I've heard about mixed bathing in Japan, but to quote a famous American, I intend to go it alone. Okay. Oh, I see you don't understand me. You are more my type. No, perish thought. Isn't I? Same to you. 
Look, I'm catching cold and I want to take some pills. Would you fetch me some water? Okay. No, 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 no. I'm going to take the pills. You get the water. Me too. Hi. Did you get his pill belt? No. Well, keep trying, but don't be obvious about it. Okay. I'll catch my death. Don't just stand there. Do something. How do you keep this tub? Heat, do you understand? Okay. That's boiling water. Merciful heavens. Get them out of here. I'm not used to having women around while I take my bath. Get them out. Get them out. Do you hear? <laughs> oh, this is dreadful. My glasses. My glasses. I can't see. I'm blind. How about paying a little attention to me for a change? Oh, I'm sorry. I bet you'll be glad to get home again, Rocky. Yeah. It will look good after a year in Korea. A year? How come you and Archie are still privates? Well, it wasn't easy, but we managed. Oh, we were sergeants for a while, and then they poke us down to private, then up to corporal, then down to private again. We've been up and down so many times, they call us a double yo-yo. <laughs> Aren't you asking for trouble running around here in civilian clothes? We're privates. They can't bust us any lower. And anyway, I wanted to take you somewhere special. So many places are off limits to guys in uniform. And that was sweet of you, Rocky. You seem awfully intent on that place. I'm intrigued by those geisha girls. You know, I've got a funny feeling about Nakano. Really? He's an opportunist. He'd jump on any bandwagon. But what does he expect to get from us? Why ask me? Help! Oh, I'm being all alive. Oh, that's enough! That's enough, you idiots! Oh, flattery will get me nowhere. Maybe you'll understand this. Did you get to death? No. Don't want to take the ski Never mind. The one with the glasses. Put this in the soup. Sorry, it's only a set of them. It will put him to sleep.
begin eating. in Rome. Drink, please. For you, my dear, anything. American entertainment. Rock a bye, baby, on the treetops. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bubbling, the cradle will fall. On the welcome, baby. Now there's a dish. Southern style? Good. What is it? Taco. Taco? Raw octopus. did this? Only one pill. Think what will happen when we have all of the pills. You haven't recovered them yet? Not yet. I can't understand it. We took the boy's soup, but he showed no effect. Don't get excited, Professor. He's still in the house. All of them are. I persuaded them to stay here so I could send them out early in the morning on a sightseeing tour to Nico. What if they leave before then? Every entrance is guarded. No one leaves, except the geishas who are going to parties tonight. <gasps> I have a plan. So have I. Where is this Archie? Don't be stupid. What do you want to do? Murder an American soldier? Tip our hand? Stir up a nationwide manhunt for us? Wait a while. When you're certain he's asleep, you enter his room and search his pill belt till you find the right bottle. Okay. Did you get that costume? In the Kano's geisha house. Now, Kano's? I've really stumbled onto something. Have you seen this? The explosion? What about it? Let me tell you. Take this down. This afternoon, I met two boys in a bar. Two American soldiers. One of them was loaded down with pills. I wonder what these could be. Where's the label? Fell off, I guess. Try one. See what happens. 
No, better stick to my usual routine. Remember now, as soon as they're asleep, If one of those pills can destroy a whole island... You'd better get them before it's too late. It's not enough to capture the pills. They will simply produce some more. No, we must learn their plan and everyone concerned. Above all, we have got to find the inventor and the place where the pills were made. That's a pretty tall order with so little time. Zoro. Zoro is a hypocrist, the greatest, but he uses his power only for mischief. He is, uh, what do you say, screwball? Can you trust him? I'm going back to the house. No, it's too dangerous for you. It's also dangerous for others. One of the American soldiers, perhaps. All right, then. But remember, when Zoro arrives, don't look at his eyes. I won't. Plus this put into all checkpoints, stations, and spot cars. Whatever he's doing, I'm search for Zoro. Zoro? Zoro? We know his hangouts. Read them all till you find him. Then bring him to me. But the last time we arrested Zoro, he stole our money and put us in jail. Put your money in the safe. Get me the American authorities. What about the key? Throw it away. business. I give you diamond. Those aren't diamonds. good, unless you come with us. Okay, what can I lose? against you, if you play ball, I'll tear them up. Out of here. 
all right. Maybe I can't put you in jail, but I can lock up your friend Tanaka and keep him there forever. Dirty trick. Okay, you win. Turn around. Okay, turn it. Oh, Inspector. I had to be sure. Decision. Now, here's the deal. I want you to go to a geisha house. A oh, geisha house? Ah, oh, good deal. Get going. I'll explain the rest on the way. with you. Just over? No. You've got to stay here till we find out where they make those pills. Sorry for his sins. He seeks out his victim and prays to be forgiven. The poor fellow is trying so hard that he has worked himself into a trance. He should be praying to you. You're the one he clouded yesterday. Quite so. I'm sorry he frightened you. Why don't you go and get dressed? You'll find your clothes in the washroom. I'll rouse him from his meditation and forgive him for all concerned.
What happened? You fell asleep on the job, you idiot. Asleep? I had the strangest dream. A man with a beard was looking at me. That's odd. I had the same dream myself. Listen, we're running out of time. We've got to get those pills. I'm sending Fumi to guide these people on a sightseeing tour. So I want you to round up some of the boys and ambush the fellow with the glasses. Okay. Zoro, they're going to ambush Archie. You've got to follow and stop them. Okay, okay. I'd better keep these till you get back. Burns, I trust you're not lost. No, I just came over here to watch the geisha classes. It must have been interesting. The classrooms are on the other side of the house. Yes, I found that out. Hi, Peggy. Ready for the tour? Say, could Michiko go along too? I know she'd be playing hooky from school, but since Rocky has a date with Peggy, I'd sort of like to have one too. I'll call her and summon your guide. Do you know those men? 
Come on, there's something I want to tell you. Beautiful, isn't it? Yes. What's happened to Rocky and Peggy? Why don't you go find them? Okay. Well, <clears throat> we seem to have been deserted. Uh, what's that uh, buzzing noise? Semi. Japanese cricket. Semi. Semi. Ah, the marvels of nature. Yes, of course. Did you know me, Chico? In America, we have a delightful little habit. One which I understand you've never adopted in Japan. Would you like me to teach it to you? Now first, close your eyes. Oh, my dear child, this isn't going to hurt you a bit. Come on now, close your eyes. Now say, prunes. Prune. Excellent. Excellent. Say it again. Prune. <laughs> What's worrying you, Rocky? There's something screwy going on. When we bought these clothes yesterday, there were a couple of guys hanging around in the store. I just saw them both again, and one of them was the guy who tried to pick Archie's pocket. Really? I think they're working for Nakano, and Archie's got something they want. Tell me more about that store. Now, we've heard it's a black market joint, among other things. Who knows what goes on in there? It might be interesting to find out. I wouldn't want you mixed up in it, Peggy. Trying to brush me off, huh? You know better than that. Do I? What's wrong? I just happened to think. Well, that's not the effect I was trying for. You said Archie was their target and we left him alone. Come on. No good, he doesn't have it. Come, we tell Nakano. Bring him back to the house as soon as you can. Hey, don't give me oh, that. Oh, I, 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 I kissed her. What a sensation. I tell you, Rocky, these geisha girls have talent. <laughs> well, I think we better get this talent show on the road. shake them and try to meet you back at the geisha house. using the noodle.
Pardon me. Hey! Hey, just a minute. Okay, I think they've gone. Good. They must have gone out the back. Get out of here. an American agent working with the Japanese police. Zoro has also been disrupting our plans, but no harm done if we keep our heads and regain the pills. I just saw the two boys approaching the house. We already searched the one with glasses. Then perhaps the other one has the pills. No, he hasn't. Uh-huh. Now, I'm sure he does. Take that. You think the girls are back yet? Well, they should be. You check these rooms. I'll go this way. What's the big idea? You okay, Peggy? The masquerade is over, Mr. Wilson. Come on. 
Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I still say I don't know anything about your pill. That's it, print. Give me the gun. Where did you have them? I didn't. They had no way to make you talk. I'll get the girls out of here. You keep them here till I get back. A bunch of tough guys, eh? Pushing girls around. Pulling guns on people. The nerve of you rascals. The infernal crust. Why, I ought to cut you to ribbons. Well, what do you know? Rubber. Here till you get some help. You call the police and I'll take the pills to Colonel Town. Well, then you better take this in case anybody tries to stop you. was the brains of the gang. Which of the two you wish to arrest? Those two birds on the end there. You mind waking them up? Sure. Yes, sir. However, I understand you helped in this matter, so I'll overlook your misconduct. I'm remanding you to the custody of Miss Burns. You'll catch the next Northwest flight to the States. The very next, understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, men. And get in the proper uniform. Where do you think you are? In the Air Force? No, no sir. sir. Michiko, how sweet of you to come here. 
You know, Rocky, it's just amazing what I do to this child. Peggy, it's really swell if you go to bat for us. You heard what the Colonel said. He turned you over to my custody. You're in my power. Abracadabra. Oh, come on. But you speak to her. I just make joke. Don't argue with me, Zoro. You have done a good job, so I will keep my promise. The charges against you are dismissed. But I am putting you on probation, and I won't stand for any more nonsense.